Well, if you're headed up north to escape the heat this summer, we want to help you get green while you enjoy your outdoors. Joining us now is Titian Donkersley, who is editor-in-chief of Green Living Magazine, here to share some tips about conscious camping and to show us some products that can make our adventures a little more fun. So welcome, right. Titian. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. Okay, well, I heard that the number one rule when it comes to camping is that whatever you pack in, you have to pack out. You got to take it. You got to keep it how you you, know, you found it. So okay. make sure mm -hmm. to pack up your trash. Okay. Make sure to take everything that you that you brought and leave what is there. What is there. exactly the way it was. Exactly. Okay, I like it. So besides that. Tell me a little bit about these really cool products okay, you have here for well, camping. Okay, well first for the body, we want to look at some paraben free lotions mm -hmm. that we want to put on. And for the kids, you got to remember the sunscreen. It's still intense out there even though it's cooler. And also these are some hypoallergenic uh, bug sprays. So especially if your child is allergic to DEET, like my daughter is, so we, we go for the uh, hypoallergenic, which is nice. Okay. And, and why do you say paraben free? I mean, I'm a little bit familiar with this and I go for paraben free, but they say that products that have paraben is not necessarily good for your skin. Right. We don't want to, we don't add any extra chemicals onto your skin okay. because your skin absorbs that. Okay. So again, paraben free, um, hypoallergenic is good, especially if your child has sensitive okay. skin. And this sunscreen has UVA and, and UVB. That's the good kind of stuff. Exactly. Okay. Now, the biodegradable soap. Mm -hmm. so again, if you're going to shower, you want to stay, you know, you want to you want to Bays or wash your dishes with biodegradable okay. soap. Because bottom line is, is that you're you're camping out in Mother Nature's space, so you got to respect it. Everything goes into the aquifer, so okay. think of it that way. Okay, got it. Ooh, we've got plates and cups and spoons. These are fun. These are actually gluten-free plates, which I know you don't, you don't have to eat them, okay? So Bro. you can lick the plate if you, if you have gluten literally, problems, right? Yeah. Literally, um, and they are um, compostable as well. So here's some that okay. we've got there and. So they will decompose and eventually right. turn into dirt. So exactly. We don't want to leave them, but you know, take them with you. Right. So. Okay. And then we have some recycled uh, mugs here mm -hmm. made from plastic bottles, which is fun. You know, oh, this is pretty cool. Warm coffee in the morning or tea. I like this. How much do these go for? Um, they go for about about seven dollars or so. Seven about bucks. $11. Okay. Uh, REI. From REI. Okay. Those. I like this recyclable made from plastic. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what? We didn't talk about these little oh, things. Oh, those right are here. also compostable utensils that you can take with you. So. Really? Yep. And where can you pick up you get, these things? All this is at Whole Foods. Okay. So these mm -hmm. are pretty sturdy. Very sturdy. They're more sturdy. Not about mine. cutting a steak, but you know, you could try. Okay. Okay. All right. So for the nighttime, this mm -hmm. is really nice. Again, from REI, the recycled polyester fill. Mm -hmm. And that, so you can be real You know, I did a little story over at uh, Treasures for Teachers, and they were donated some pillow um, coverings. And you know what they mm -hmm. filled them up with? No. Bubble wrap. Wow. Instead of like stuffing them with stuff. I thought, what a way to, you know, reuse and recycle. That is. Exactly. Yeah, pretty cool, but your head would be like, yeah, like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so nice little pillow nice here. Nice pillows. These are, Backpacks. these are backpacks. What's really cool about these are these made from recycled plastic bottles. Wow. Okay, these All, look like they're the high-end kind. Yes, these are. These are a little more expensive. You know, you get mm -hmm. into the $80 or something. But again, okay. really sturdy. But sturdy, yeah. Really sturdy. <laughs> Come on, Tisha, let's go hike up the mountain. <laughs> get some exercise <laughs> right. going. Love it. Okay. But again, so you can see how your plastic bottles by recycling okay. them can and turn into And it's great. This also great. has the lower back support, too. It, so you yeah. can really carry a heavy load. Exactly. So, so it's, it's about 80 little, bucks at REI for these. A little more. Okay. okay. So, and then now, if you want, if you're out there and you want to be a little little fancier. We've got some bamboo plates and, mm -hmm. and some utensils here from Great and Barrel. Very fun. Right. So, you so literally you can eat your food off the floor because they offer bamboo flooring and now they <laughs> offer bamboo <laughs> plates and spoons and knives and forks. And so we've Love got that. it all. Crate and Barrel is selling this stuff now too, huh? Now the last thing we've got are some socks. You know, you've mm -hmm. got to keep your, you know, if you're going to go do some hiking or be on the trails. Right. You know. So these are interesting socks from Lorpen and they actually have recycled uh, natural fibers mm -hmm. and they actually hold them, uh, get rid of the moisture. Your foot there. Okay, so it wicks away from your feet, so you won't have sticky away. feet. No sticky feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, cause seriously. If you're camping in close quarters, the last thing you want to be sleeping in a tent with is someone who has some serious stinky Even feet. Even if you love them. I, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I love them, they still won't have to sleep in the tent thing on stinky feet. And then we have the organic uh, wool socks, too, from REI. So that's what we've got here to stay con be a conscious camper. Okay, and you know, one of the things also that we should add to that is that people should follow the burn rules. If it yes. says no burn, that means no burn. Right. right, and again, if you're going to bathe or clean your dishes, stay about 200 feet away from a water source. Okay. Because everything, again, goes into the aquifer, and if you're washing things, we don't want 
want it to go into the water source. Okay, well, if you bring all these things, you're going to be pretty golden on that. That is. And the last thing I want to say is don't bring plastic bags. Okay. Don't bring it. Try and, try and use reusable bags yes, as much reusable. as you can. And you can stuff a lot in those, and you don't a have to lot. worry about them breaking. Yes. Okay, so Titian, as always, thank you so thank much you for so helping much. us stay green and be kind to the environment. Love it. <laughs> well, if you would like more information, you can head to our website at abc15.com and click on the Lifestyle tab.